County tonight. Now let's go south a little bit. KWW reporter Ashley Neighbor in the middle of downtown Cedar Rapids during the storm. Yeah, seeing firsthand the destruction it caused there, and she now joins us live with an update on the community's cleanup process. Abby and Ron, those winds were absolutely unbelievable. I'm here in Czech Village now, and you can see some of the damage behind me. Just a couple of hours ago, I talked with public safety, and they tell me at least eight of ten homes they believe have sustained damage. Now let's go ahead and check with some video that we shot earlier today. Every neighborhood I've seen is worse than the last, and Alliant tells me they are actively working on a restoration plan. A spokeswoman tells me at least 200,000 customers are still without service in this area. They are working actively to clean out the streets and some of the debris. They believe it will be several days before that power is reconnected, especially in rural areas. Firefighters have begun assessing structural damage, and police are caught up with calls for service. They got more than 1,900 911 calls and a 24-hour period. And I spoke with a group of men in northeast Cedar Rapids who had been working nonstop on their, with their own chainsaws to get main roads back open. And I asked them how long they think it'll take to recover. There was no way you could get through. If, we didn't, if he didn't sit here and have a chainsaw and actually his girlfriend and wife coming out and telling us to, hey, help out. We had 20 people out here last night helping out, cutting down everything so we could just at least get the police officers through. I mean, this is an emergency snow route. Alliant tells me if your electrical line is down from your own home, you need to call an electrician to repair it as crews are working to get unaffected areas back open. They're saying they've never seen a storm like this before, and police are telling me to let people know they need to use caution around intersection as stop signs are still blown down and there is no light to those, there is no power to those traffic lights. Reporting in Cedar Rapids, Ashley Neighbor, News 7, KWL. Ashley, thank you.